In this video, I will show how to estimate count data model using R language. In the previous video, I explained the background of count data model, more specifically Poisson regression. I also showed different steps in estimating estimation of the count data model using this software eViews. Today I am going to show the estimation process using R. To estimate count data model, you must need three packages. These are AER, MAS, and ESCL. So make sure you have already installed three packages. These are AER, MASS, ESCL. I have already installed them. How can you install? In the environment button, you will see the option install so if you click the install then you will see install from CRAN then if you write the name of the package and then click install it will be installed automatically I have already installed the these packages so I am just ignoring this part so what is count data model I, I explained in the previous video that many data takes the form of count and if you have any count variable and you estimate the model in linear regression or binary regression then it will produce biased estimation or it would be it would be uh, it will produce in a inefficient Rather, so the examples of count variables are number of doctor visits, which is a which is an indicator of healthcare demand. And for example, I work in the food food security research, so there are a lot of examples of count variables such as number of sustainable agriculture practices adopted by farmer. One, one kind of count variable you can use these variables in count data modeling household coping strategies index that is the number of food related coping strategies adopted by households household dietary diversity score or SDDS so today I am going to show an, a, a model which I will be I, I will be estimating using R. So here is the model. My dependent variable is household dietary diversity school, which is a count variable. Is GDS. In fact, household dietary diversity, which is defined as the number of unique foods consumed by the household member over a given period of time. So it has been validated to be a useful approach for measuring household food access. So this is one kind of count variable. So we want to see how changes in receipt of remittances or receipt of other income. gender of the household heads, age of the household heads, level of education of household head, family size and household land holding or household farm size influences household dietary diversity. So or changes in this independent variable or how the changes in this independent variable influences 
the dependent variable so we are using we are estimating the model in count data model so our first task is to read the data and the command is my data read csv and i have specified the location i have already written the command here to save some time so so data has been imported we can see that 755 54 observation 55 variables even we can see the variables here so next we are retouching the data the command is attach my data so next step is we have to define the variable it will make the task a bit easier so our we can define the dependent variable as y so the then the our dependent was c bind the command is c bind then our dependent variable is hdds so our dependent variable is defined as y so we can even see the the variable here So, and if we see bind the all the independent variable, then it will make the task easier. So we are using the command C bind and I have put all the dependent variable independent variable here. So it has been defined as y. So if we want to see the summary or the central central tendency of the variable, so we can do it using the command summary. We can see that uh, SDDS the minimum score is two, median six, mean six point one eight three, and the maximum is twelve and if we want to see the central tendency of independent variable then we can see here gender age education dependency family size remittance non remittance income farm size these are the descriptive statistics of the variable so let us jump to our main task that is we are estimating the model here so the uh, using GLM so the command is also regret also then GLM and then our dependent variable we we defined it as y then we are using the weasel sign and then x then more important thing is we have to specify the model or the family with the command family awesome awesome here is the program so if we then we can see the summary of the result and the command is summary person here is the result we can see the estimated coefficient of the intercept gender variable age education dependency family size remittance and we can see the significance level 